Hey, bless you, beautiful morning, Grateful Gap family. Welcome into the Grateful Gap podcast here on Wednesday. I come at you with different health topics. Um, daily verse for the day of November 1st, 2023. The rise from the book of John, chapter 14, verse 18. And the state says, follows. No, I will not abandon you as orphans. I will come to you. Amen. And again, it's from the book of John, chapter 14, verse 18. And, um, you know, what a great day to be able to start the first of November off, man. Um, looking to talk about health, looking to, you know, take out, take it upon ourselves on this day to, to, to be better. Um, just because it's the start one of a new month, but most importantly of a new day. And, um, you know, just such a great opportunity to be able to have life and, and, you know, make the best of it today. So this morning for wellness Wednesday, um, I will be speaking about the impacts food have on your mood and things of that nature. And I'm getting this information from betterhealthchannel.vic.gov. I will have the link to the description of the article in the episode. Um, and again, I'm getting directly into it. it, it I'll be covering food and your mood. And let's talk about it. So diet, mood, and concentration. Did you know that your diet has a big impact on your mood? your concentration, and even your level of happiness? What you eat not only affects your physical health, but studies now show just how much diet impacts your mood and mental well-being. There's no single superfood that boosts mood. It's about having a varied, healthy diet. A varied, healthy diet improves your memory, concentration, and can even increase your level of optimism and protect you from depression. In contrast, eating too many highly processed fried foods or sugary food and drinks has been shown to increase the likelihood of, of anxiety and increase the risk of developing depression. A varied and healthy diet. A varied healthy diet includes a wide range of vegetables, fruits, legumes, nuts and seeds, fish, whole grains, and unsaturated fats. Processed sugary and high fat foods offer little nutritional value and are best eating are best eaten only occasionally and in small amounts. For children and young people, highly processed sugary and fried foods have been linked to hyperactivity, aggression, and symptoms of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Poor concentration and tiredness, which interfere with learning and memory. Depression and anxiety, studies have found that young people with the healthiest diets are considerably less likely to experience depression than those with nutritionally poor diets. Gut health and mental health. A very healthy diet can feed your gut bacteria, improve gut health, and help lower inflammation. Chronic inflammation from an unhealthy diet can lead to many health problems, including depression. The following can all contribute to chronic inflammation, stress, insomnia, lack of exercise, and smoking. Find out more about how your health, how, excuse me, find out more about how your good health can influence your mental health. And again, um, that, that link um, can be found in the description of the episode. Also, I um, copy and paste that one and I, I add it to the, um, the description also. Sugary drinks and mental health. Having one or more sugary drinks such as soft drinks, cordials, energy drinks, sports drinks, each day is associated with poor mental health. In addition, energy drinks and other ingredients such as turin and B vitamins have been linked to insomnia, increased stress, and depression. A healthy diet helps treat depression. Eating a varied healthy diet and avoiding highly processed unhealthy foods has been shown to be important in treating depression. Studies have, de studies have demonstrated that depressive symptoms can be re relieved through diets. One study showed that a third of people with depression experienced full relief of their symptoms after improving their diet. How you eat is important too. It's not only what you eat, but also how you eat that makes a difference to your well-being. Food helps us connect with others, our community, our culture, and our land. 
Celebrating where your food comes from, how you prepare it, and who you share it with are wonderful ways to enjoy food, eat healthier, and boost your well-being. Take the time to step away from the screen, sit down and enjoy food whenever you can, share a meal with a friend, family member, neighbor, or work colleague. Growing your own food can bring a great sense of satisf satisfaction, may make you feel more connected to your food, and help you be active and feel more relaxed. So again, ladies and gentlemen, I got this information from betterhealth.vic.gov. And I will have, um, again, the link to the description. I mean, I will have the link to the um, to the um, article information in the description of the podcast. Um, and on that note, um, Jehovah, man, God, we just really appreciate you for bringing us this far, man. So far along in our life, whatever whatever level we are on, whatever age we are currently um, being in our life right now, we just really appreciate you for for keeping us, Father God. Like I said, man, so many people that that weren't able to wake up this morning, but you woke us up today, Father God. We thank you for that. And we love you. We just pray and ask that you continue to bless and watch over us, continue to bless and watch over the world, continue to guide us, continue to, continue to shine a light on us in all the dark places around the world, Father God. Continue to let us know and continue to show us that you are real and that you are you have our best interests at heart, Father God, because we can see it in our own life and with our own eye, with our own breath of our body, Father God, that you are real. And continue to guide us, continue to lead us towards you, continue to plant the seed in our hearts to be able to open our hearts up to you, to choose you, Father God. We thank you for everything you do. Continue to cover the world in the blood of Jesus. And we just thank you for today, Father God. Praying as that today is the best day because today. Thank you for everything you're doing, everything you've done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Grateful God, family. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed. Make sure y'all tune in tomorrow for the Grateful God Sports Huddle. NFL trade deadline. A lot of moves been made. NBA season. A lot of moves have been made. Trade, things of that nature. So make sure y'all tune in tomorrow to get updated. Get my um, my opinions on, on things that have shaken up. And, you know, we'll go from there. So other than that, man, I love y'all. Thank y'all for the support. And until next time, peace.